You. such a blue moment <laughs> oh what a great moment that is for sure all right we are actually here now welcome to fc2 and a uh, great start as always right um boy have we got something special for us today um as i relaunch the game so give me one second you guys are all looking at black right now and i'm aware um but uh yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy one today and if you haven't been on the server yet already we're in for quite a treat. There are currently 32 drivers signed up to FC2 today. 32. That is like so many more. That's I think that's eight more than our previous best. Our previous best has been 24 drivers. And 32 is hitting new levels. We we are reaching we are reaching big numbers here today. And it's gonna be a little bit chaotic. And I think we're all here for that type of chaos. So as we load up in here, uh, welcome to the commentary booth once again. Oinked, also known as Mark. Welcome. We hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is gonna be one of the the biggest. This I mean it is the biggest, but I think it's gonna be the most one of the most spectacular races we, we're gonna have today. 
now that I think about it, I think the um, the average amount of uh, split times is gonna be three seconds each person now, <laughs> because of how many people there are. Clean air is gonna be something that only lucky people can uh, achieve. Only the luckiest. You heard it. Only the luckiest will get the clean air today. Everyone else will be fighting the entire time for all types of things. And we're finally back on here. Take a look at the track. We are in Australia. You can see how many people are just practicing this turn one. It doesn't seem like there's a dull moment right here with all these people. And this it's is only practice. Already. <laughs> it's carnage already. It's carnage already before the race even started. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. But we got quite a show going on. We just finished FC1. So hopefully everyone coming over from FC1 are coming over here. And, uh, oh, there's someone lagging right there. But, uh, oh, that's not them. That is, in fact, me, I think. And, oh, my gosh, I pressed tab. I can't even find my name on here. Boy, what a crew do we have here today. And, um, yeah, it's it's something special. And, of course, we have to have an entire turn dedicated to Oscar Piastri, <laughs> who, unfortunately, just narrowly avoided the podium uh, over uh, yeah. a few hours Team ago. Team orders. <laughs> You'll see it. No, no team orders here though. Everyone will be battling each other. No easy going. No official teams. <laughs> but man, everyone here. I mean, boy, what a track this is too, and certainly something. Uh, it's very notable turns yeah, here, awesome. and um, we can watch. Who is this right here? Is this? Uh, these turns are. These turns can create very good battles. Whether, and um, it's very easy to lose your line. Yeah. Turn one is especially notable, as always, with a turn one. Um, turn four as well. But I think after that, we kind of get... We don't get too much going on. So maybe... Let's go the, the uh, over chicane. Over here? To the, the chicane after the high-speed section. And, yeah. If you if you, if you, if you TP me, this is, right there, this is probably what it. Right there, talking about. Yeah. Yes, that is right here. This is a big notable point. It's very thin right here, so expect a lot of people scraping on the outside of these straights. Um, yeah, and uh, the pack dice is there for people who go wide. It's actually a slower line to take the the pack dice. You wanna, you actually kind of wanna hug the middle, and then launch yourself out into the next high speed section. For let's sure. See which FC, let's see which FC two drivers can do this though. Yeah, it's certainly gonna be a different one today because. With our, our, we, I mean, we normally have our, our normal crew of FC recognizable FC2 drivers, but for whatever reason, there's been a big, big influx of more and more drivers uh, this week. And so expect a lot of new names. I'm expecting half the grid to be completely new names that maybe we've never seen in an FC2 race before. Yeah, we have um, Do Aid Blend, Lurik 13 making a return, so is Tekhead. Uh, let's see, Wailery. White Panther, Baylor2369. Some of, those are some of the names of the new drivers that uh, just appeared for Australia. Yeah, it's going to be certainly something else. And uh, we're going to try and get things going underway. The server's doing a little bit of struggling right now. So hopefully um, all these drivers... Yeah, TPS 19. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see the TPS button is the one I'm looking for at the top. The top right there, TPS. I think the last sector is also another uh, part to look out for. Yes. With the with a very high speed block stop corner here if they want to take it of course yeah starting and... starting right over here where it is right now oh no 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 well, this way this way yeah yeah no, <laughs> I, I know what you're talking about yeah. right there right here is a tough corner to yeah. hit for <laughs> sure so for no wall tap here so they can't uh they can't easily hit the wall and bounce this way they have to make this turn all, almost all entirely on blue ice and even maybe go inside on this packed ice line here and uh yeah Right, I I feel like this last sequence of corners, starting from about here, right here, all the way through here. This is an, uh, a tough corner right here as well, with the packed ice being in the middle. It's a little bit more challenging to get it the right line. It's here. easy to complete the turn without um, messing up, but uh, you know, without hitting the wall or, or the that However, side. your line? Yeah, it really depends on your line and your exit speed after this turn. Yeah, for sure, and that of course gives it into the way. Uh, what you have here, the speed amount, uh, speed amount you have right on this turn, and uh, yeah, I feel like this no, last sequence is you. one of the hardest, most variable sequences you can get. Uh, I feel like I don't know about you, Mark, but in uh, in my practice, I feel like I can pretty much stay even with my personal best all the way through the entire lap, 
until those very last few turns, and that's where the time is easily gained or lost. Hmm, of course, yes. Um, the last sector is really a time killer. If you have a good lap, you just <laughs> want to keep your head down and try to go as clean as possible. If you want to push it, good luck. <laughs> let's, take, let's take a look on how many people we have today currently signed up in Australia. Oh boy, it's only been growing. 36 drivers going to be ready to start qualifying today. And uh, boy... This is going to be something special. There's not too many races that hit this level uh, of, of people. Um, of course, we had BCC. Um, BCC yeah. <laughs> the year before. Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi is one of them. And maybe I'm missing one or two races, but I feel like this is going to be one of the closest ones we've had to have just a large amount of people. Um, I only know of those three races to go above 40. And uh, boy, we're reaching there, aren't we? So certainly... The only, the only other one would be... Uh, BRWC Rookie League in straight races. <laughs> Perhaps the Rookie League. And here we go. It looks like they all got teleported and um, boy, we got oh, quite a group here. God. Here I they know. are. Yeah, the entire grid. I'm surprised there's no space FC1 on here. Driver. We actually have an FC1 driver here at the front here. He couldn't make it earlier and now he's racing on uh, on a slower laptop. There you go. El Saco de Papas. You may have heard of him before. Um, he's no, he's no, uh, um, he's not, from, or he's very, sorry, <laughs> he's very familiar with, uh, big racing, and, uh, he's been in a lot of community racing events, especially with a lot of people who are slower than him, so he's gonna try and capitalize on that skill he has, overtaking backmarkers, Hotspot here as well, very oh, familiar yeah, with Hutspot. quick races. Hotspot is a very quick racer, though, he's very good at adapting to, um, to situate dangerous situations such as um, being behind Chrome Cat during Bahrain, and now he's in FC2 because he couldn't make it to the FC1 race, fortunately. So. All right, well, message from race control uh, we will be having three different qualifying heats. Um, we run a little bit different to how FC1 does, they do the standard F1 qualifying. We'll be doing a little bit different, there's too many people to handle. Um, so we'll be doing three separate, uh, probably seven minute qualifying sessions and, um, yeah. the drivers will already be spaced out and stuff like that. So it's a little bit easier with so many people here. Um, so yeah, I mean, with 30 people here, that's still 10, uh, 12 people in each heat. It's still a decent amount. And, uh, you'll quickly probably find that people are going to be running into each other. Uh, we thought we had qualifying going, but uh, I think we're going to have an extra 10 minutes. Uh, race control is struggling to find <laughs> the resources to find these people uh, spots on the quality grid. And boy, boy, it's crazy. Um, we got a lot of people in the stream here. Yeah, Grey Wasp is saying 50 people are here. It's dwindled down a little bit. Stormblaze is here. Hello, Tim is here. Um, yeah, wow. Lots of lots of people. Uh, Miss, Miss, uh, Migo Ree says he thinks it's going to be a good stream. I hope so. It's going to, I should say I hope so. It should be. I, I, I really doubt it's going to be anything but good here and, uh, all of that. So I wonder how this race is going to turn out though. What's your predictions? Oh, with a track like this, we were doing some quick races earlier, about an hour before the FC1 race. So, I mean, that was like three, four, five hours ago, early this morning. And, um, we've noticed that. Overtaking backmarkers is a little bit slower here, a little bit harder to do compared to other tracks, especially like Bahrain, um, which we did in the first race of the season. That uh, Australia seems to have a little, it's a little thin, I think is the reason. And uh, it's a little bit harder to overtake the slow people, so um, it's going to be hard for people like Osaka, people like Hutspot, next Simon. And all those people, uh, I think Ludo is also here. Dude. There are some technical corners, though, that they can take advantage of. So, I don't think this this is the hardest, but yeah, it's it's always difficult to get um, to be behind a back marker or just a slow driver in general. There you go. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And uh, I think most of the time... The gain loss is going to be based on how quickly you can overtake these slower drivers, not necessarily as much on pace alone. Raw pace, finding free air is going to be difficult, especially for these front runners. We're going to be whizzing through the back markers so quickly. 
So that's the spotlight is can you overtake the slow people without losing too much time and especially without being bumped? And which slow people are going to be ahead of the slower one too. <laughs> Basically the midfield. Yeah, and the midfield is going to be so much more packed than it usually is here today as well. Uh, Mighty Creative said they really had to postpone us. Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, you, If you've been around the community for a while, you know that these giant races need a little bit of extra uh, work here. And uh, we really thank the race control team. Special shout out to Laser Sloth, who is the head race control. And uh, he's doing a great job already. Um, most of our events run pretty dang smoothly. And uh, postpones make them run smoothly during the race instead of having to scramble around. Um, trying to, you know, red flag or whatnot, something happens. Uh, so, yeah. 46 people online today. And this... It's very crowded at the moment for uh, for this race. I think FC1 has a, um, what is it, a whitelist? Uh... Yes, SC1 does have a whitelist turned on during that race, so nobody can get in the way. Race control for this race are Adam's Apple, Satomi, and Laser. There you go. Thank you, Sonic. But uh, yeah, so what a beautiful track this is. Uh, of course, some work has been done on it since last year. Not too much. I think it's mostly the tuning. Um, there's been some uh, wall taps that have been removed, and the pit lanes have been changed. But overall, and not added, too much. And the added pressure plates, yeah. Otherwise... Looks like heat uh, one has been loaded. We we will need uh, we're gonna get race control to clear the track first, and then we can get that our way. There you go. You see oh. the announcements right there. So there'll be three different qualifying heats. The top twelve are in this one. The second twelve and the last twelve are all gonna be in different heats here to try and uh, separate the skill a little, so that way people don't bump into each other as often. So um, I think their goal think is to set the... the fastest lap possible within six minutes. They only get six minutes time. To, uh, to find their spot and to get a fast lap. And that will determine the grid order, just like a regular qualifying will, uh, which is right here, of course, for the grand race. But for now, we have to sit through this craziness of Q1 right now. Everyone is clearing the track, hopefully, and uh, we should be getting ready to go. Most eyes are in El Saco, Ludo, and Hutspot. These three are very fast drivers. Ludo being the previous winner on Jeddah in FC2. And Hotspot uh, doing really well in FC1, but couldn't make it. But here they go. Going on to the outlap. Their outlap won't matter too much because they're starting from the pit lane. So they're going to be going around. Oh, so we have there a, goes Brecky. There goes Adam. Track. There goes Simon. Uh, uh, there goes Iltis Amor, Grey Wasp, Lyric 13, Evolver 54, and uh, Ikari V is the last one making it into this first heat here. Um, there you go. You can see the orders for Q2 and Q3 going through chat real, real quick just to make sure if you're watching the stream and you're like, I don't know if I'm in, um, they're they're coming through. But here they go. All out through their outlap. Um, Osaka, of course. Leading yeah, I don't think the their outlap won't matter too much. How, oh, we, just, um, we still have more people to clear off. Hold on. Yeah, um, of course, there's a lot of people on there. A lot of new guys confused a little bit on... Um, yeah. And what uh, what's going on? And uh, they're new to this. To, yeah, I'm gonna try to TP most as many people as I can. <laughs> All right, I appreciate it, Mark. Yeah. There you go. So there's Q3 as well. So these names here. See your name. There you are. See yeah, these you're... names. You're also in. Uh, I think Ikari V looks like has been moved up. So, um, everyone if here. If you're not in quality right now, you could either um uh, hang out at the pits or just go to the grandstands. Yes, please. And whatever you do, do not go on track. Uh, you will quickly find yourself um, away from the race and uh, sitting uh, in a spectator slot. But here they go. So it looks like El Saco and Ludo are going to wait a little bit. Ludo actually is elected to go already. So here we go. Oh, there's the rest of Q3. Yeah, El Saco is upset about uh, people on track right now. Hold on. Yeah, don't go on track or you'll be relegated to a spectator. As I like to say in F1, <laughs> uh, I know there's been some, some comments on that phrase for some reason. But anyway, Ludo's going to set the first lap here, going around turn one. Uh, actually, yeah, uh, pretty darn good through here so far. 
Actually, that wasn't turn one. That was turn four that he went through at the time. He's going to try and find his way. He's going to stay outside through here and go on the inside. Make sure not to hit the wall. It's very dangerous getting really close right there. But he managed to do it pretty well. Um, and yeah, so here we go. The fast, this fast section right here, make sure to hit to the outside right here. There's more blue ice here, which means you go a little bit faster if you stay on the outside of the turn. Yeah, look at him go. Clean line. Let's see if he gets a good turn here. He Ooh, does. He goes, he goes slightly wide, though, but a little he bit. rapidly rapidly recovers it. A little, little touch on the packed ice, but otherwise it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, he does hit some packed right there. That's not very great. You see the turn here. Beautiful block stop. Holy nice cow. Boy, you might be see pole really position nice. already selected right here on this lap. I wonder. He's going to defend his um, his race win again. Oh, he goes slightly wide, though. Onto the pack ties, but... Here we go. The wall cap at the end. Wide. Final straight for Ludo. 32, 33, 34, 35, and just over 136. 36. And a tick. Extra. That's not bad. Not bad for FC2 um, uh, standards. El Saco's right. coming in. A little bit laggy on the. Oh, he scrapes on the exit. He frosty grinds right before the start line. That's going to impact <laughs> his second lap, too. Oh, look at this. There's three of them in tandem right now. Look at the, look at them go. El Saco, Mighty, and Hutspot. Hutspot has to back out from this. Otherwise, he's going to be in big trouble behind these two. All right. Mighty and <laughs> El Saco are still in tandem at the moment. They're going out. Uh, El Saco shouldn't have too fast. Well, he's uh, he's only three tenths behind. Uh, oh, Mighty's not lap. improving though. Yeah, for sure. Hutspot. He must have messed up first yeah. lap quite often. Headspots electing to give himself some space here. The rest of the times are yeah. coming through. Ludo currently still sitting in the top position. Headspot five tenths behind. Quite a ways. Gray Wasp comes in in third. Brecky, Lyric, El Saco only finding himself in sixth. Pretty well done by Gray Wasp, to be honest. He was uh, he's known to be in the back of the grid and, and be a backmarker during FC two, and now he's not doing too um, too bad in in the Q Q one heat. Yeah. Otherwise, one and a half minutes left for everyone. Yeah, it's gonna go by quickly, especially with uh, if you mess up right on the exit like Osaka did. He's in deep water right now. I feel. Oh, look at this though. Lulu is gonna try and improve here. Point two up on his time. Point three now. He's going to try and extend that lead. Already five tenths in front of the next Point person. Six. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, here he... And here it is. One thirty-five, four. He's a second and two tenths faster than everyone else on the grid right oh, now. Oh, but look at this. El Saco is up on his time, too. He also frosty script on the on the end there, and he's going to try to improve up to third. Up to Mighty third. Creative responds by... Not enough, though. Mighty, Mighty Creative moves up to yeah. fifth. Brecky improves. Like, well done from him. He beat, he beat Tommy Osaka. as well. Going up segment seven seconds from his previous time. He's only two tenths behind Ludo now. So there you go. There's a rival. Next Simon is next. And then the other Samor is going to respond to next Simon getting a faster time too. Simon not looking too hot right now. We've seen him in the front of the grid multiple times, but currently only sitting tenth so far. Six seconds behind the leader of Ludo. Yeah. All right. So Ludo has a 135.4. Pretty with, pretty good from him. He's only two seconds behind um, the pole sitter Crumb Cat in FC1, which is really good standards. And other than that fact, he is trying to improve once again. He's only one tick ahead of his time, and this is his last lap. Yeah, looks like driver's so only he's going to go for good a block, block stop. block stop right he... there. He's up. He's up again. Can he improve just up. a little bit more here? Just one more push from him. Oh, he slightly um, misplaced his boat there. Had a weird angle, but he slightly he actually recovers it. There we go. Well, tap there. You can see how variable that last sector is. He gained two tenths at the very end. And there Here we go. go. He's gonna improve. An extra tenth. One thirty-five three. Let's check out Satomni. So Where is he at? Oh, he's not a good oh, lap wait, for no, him. Look at, look at Osaka de Papas. He's actually up above on Ludo's time. He's going to oh, beat him. Oh, 135 flat. <laughs> that was mighty creative. Trying to get a better time here, but he, he can't really do it. Here comes Hotspot, though. He kind of threw his uh, qualifying here a bit. Bus driver's coming in. He is in fourth. And El Adam Saco, Sackles though. Is, yeah. El Saco went crazy. Frosty running the exit of two laps in a row, really suffering his chances. 
but managed Ooh, to Simon pull it off up. and snipe the lead at the very last lap. Lurk and Slow. Simon coming in, trying yeah, to push he, themselves up. He went the up order. from uh, he went up from tenth. Good for him. And Gray was a very good P seven for him. See yeah. the improvement. Gray was uh, is pretty dang new to this, and uh, he's been able to beat some of the top drivers, mighty creative Simon and Iltis. He's been able to beat. But of course, yeah, this is only Q one. We got two more to go. Um, while the uh, the drivers for Q two and Q three probably won't be as quick as these guys, um, they'll certainly have some action alongside. <laughs> Ludo is Ludo's currently um, uh, requesting for last place, last to first, I guess. <laughs> He's gonna try if he wants to. He can do it. Um, what is Adam doing though? Adam is not set a time. <laughs> He's, don't know. Uh, he's in spectator. Uh oh. <laughs> he must not be racing today. I mean, he must have yeah, uh, missed his chance. Oh yeah. So otherwise, that is Q one. Q two here. We have Philanu, returning driver Philanu, Siraj Desaram, Juj was taken, Castle Bricks, Wellery, who I haven't seen in a while actually, Hard Frog, a new member, Tekkan, um, the life, <laughs> the life and network. I don't know if I said that right. The life, and the life network is his name. The life network, yeah. Okay. That Little capital E distraction. Yeah, right. And yeah, then, no kidding. And then Marky, Marky 059 is to fill the second qualifying grid. Here they go, right. one at a time. Actually, oh, this one actually. Hold on. Um, don't know if race control is going to reset that. They all went off at the same time, as compared to Q1. We'll see if they uh, change that. But uh, for now, they're going to keep going. Yeah. To be honest, I don't see. If I'll be honest, I don't see many people challenging El Sarco's time. So he has a 135 flat, and El Sarco's a really experienced driver. Yeah, certainly not in so. this heat. Um, and oh, we have some we have some overtaking action going on here between Ju and uh, Suraj. Suraj having a wide moment a bit. However, he's gonna try and fight back here. Jude is dangerously close behind him. He just has to be careful. And now he sends oh, it down the uh, very, very nice move from him, and Suraj responds back. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's some racing action in the qualifying. These guys are trying to find room, but instead they're colliding with each other, trying to get in front of the other. Oh, Juju, it's been boat lagged a bit, though. Suraj is in front. And before we even race, we have some crazy action going on between these two. Oh, there we they're go. He's finally given up, Juju. <laughs> Ju has finally Elected given it to take up. The Otherwise, high road. yeah. Well, Barry is gonna be fourth. He actually overtook Castle Breaks before like, during this lap. Well, here we go. Filanovo is uh gonna start his first quick uh his first hot lap here in just a moment. Wait, who's someone's on track? Somebody's on, on um... track there. <laughs> Hopefully, you can deal with them, Mark. Thank you. Uh, he's yep, he's he going <laughs> straight back on. <laughs> it's very. Very there eager to uh, ruin someone's day there. <laughs> close. That was close. <laughs> Here we go. Filano uh, is currently sitting his He's start first a lap. Now. Turn one. Oh, scrapes on the eggs of the turn. That's going to be great for him. Turn one's going to be pretty difficult, so that's going to be a dead lap for him, probably. Ooh. Surge actually pretty clean. hitting that. Surge perfectly. actually getting a pretty clean T1, T2 here. We'll watch him to the rest of the lap here. Surge Desam has been around for a while in these FC2 races. Yeah. Never, uh, never hitting podium or anything like that. But he's been certainly around in the midfield quite often. Here, sir. He's so. never, he's never actually given up, which is very respectable from him. Of course, oh, let's coming see. through the sector. He wants to blue ice, oh, but that's gonna put him. Yeah, it's gonna put him in a sharp turn right there. And Jude is actually gonna catch up to him as well. There's Just like Suraj, right both, him. they both haven't given up yet, though they're in the back. Uh, they're in the back of the field. Oh, oh, he... And Suraj oh, messes boy. up a bit. Dude, it's going to be very close to his ghost. That, is a, that was a very risky move from Duke. But he didn't have the space to do it, and he could tell. Yeah, Juge's going to have to wait and stay on Surge's pace here. If he's going to want to bank this lap, Juge, he's going to have to do it behind Surge or Sam, impacting his next lap. So, Otherwise, um, the first person... Feel, first person in qualifying, Phil is about to uh, finish his lap here into the last couple corners. Yeah, we don't expect it to be too hot. Jude actually is going to try and make an overtake in the last few corners on Surge's uh -oh, song. Oh, here he goes. 
tries to send it out the inside here. He's going to do it again, and he's going to dive on him. They both go for a wall tap, and Zuz oh. overtakes Mirage. Very well done by him. That was very, <laughs> that was a very cool race action. Yeah, there you go. And he sets a 138.5 currently. That's the, that's the time to beat for um, for Q2 at the moment. Yep, so here comes the rest of the grid coming into the start line here. So round results at the moment. Juge is actually P8. 144, Casa Bricks 149. Juge was actually P8, and knowing that he was behind Suraj and been slowed down, he has the potential to challenge some of the front drivers. So he does. He's got two more, two or three laps more to use. Uh, but Filano is currently uh, up on his time quite a lot, considering he messed up the first turn on the first so, lap. So the last stranglers are finishing their lap now. 157, 153. I'm rooting for you, Marky. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta share the same name, share the same uh, goal here. Right there. Almost, almost, almost. Almost, we're missing the... Mind for the seat. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, Phil New is here up on his time. Up not, five not tenths. Enough to beat Juke. Yeah, not enough to beat Juke, though, but he is. That is like a good improvement for him. Let's see if he goes up from here. He's still five tenths after the next checkpoint. There we go. And Just a little bit more. He's needed to find an extra second in order to get onto this top spot here. Looks oh, like it's he not going to be it. Lost out there. He kind of lost out on the last few corners. No wall tougher he here. Really out. getting close to the edge there. You can see how close he was to that grass. There you go. 139.4. Right. It's going to put him in second on this spot for now. He was already on second. However, he, he did want to extend his lead from second. Yep. t is the next one up. Here, here. here is also uh, Hard Frog trying to beat Suraj Desaram's time. Two Actually, seconds Actually, TCAD up right here. Right let's, let's take a look at TCAD and Whalery are in. Contention with each other right now. Both trying to find space deal. TCAD three seconds down his time, but uh, Whale here Very, is actually uh, up. Right now. Yeah. Three seconds up, so, so hopefully he doesn't get impacted by TCAD in front of him. And oh, he's Whoa, crazy on the he exit. Messes he messes up slightly. He's going to have one more lap to do an improvement for his time. One more lap for Whale there. Currently sitting seventh on this leaderboard. Put in fast castle breaks though. Here comes Marky, nine second improvement. Very well done from him on his standards. Yeah, Marky, 144.3. The life network unfortunately has gone too slow to set another lap. He will end his run right there. Yeah. Ninth place on this leaderboard. The life net yeah, the life network. This is his first FC2 race as well. Well, we up another three seconds right now. If he keeps this up, he's going to be in front of Castlebricks and maybe even Marky. Considering he yep. scraped on the exit of that last turn there. If he managed to hold on to this learn, Oh yeah, four seconds up right now for him. If he managed to hold on to this pace, as well as not mess up that last corner, he should be shooting up the leaderboards right now. Yeah, here he goes. He has one, this is his one shot. He was lucky enough to get another lap, and he's going to take his chances here. Five oh. seconds off at his time, but he goes a little wide. There's a little wide there. You miss it, but uh, Philono uh, has improved his time only a tick behind Jude, and unfortunately, he's going to end up wow. right there. Serge Hassan moved up position with that last lap as well, moving over at TCAD. Whalery, oh, oh but no! Was wide. <laughs> Unfortunate for him. Misses the braking and spun too much. He's still two seconds up, so maybe he could handle something. Trying to get he, over Castle Bricks probably, now. Yeah, exactly. He could probably beat Castle Bricks here. They're holding on to a good line right there for Whale. Three seconds up. Let's see if he holds on to the last turn. He does. He does. Hopefully a two-second improvement. Four it's seconds four up seconds from his now. time. Here we go. Where and is he going to end up? Castle Breaks. 145. Oh, one. Castle Breaks also improved as well. He's 0.6 ahead of uh, Whalery. There you go. So unfortunately, Castle Breaks just managed to eke out over Whalery on that last lap there as and well. The Life Network. The live network uh, missed out on getting a good time in quality. Okay. Otherwise, the last the last few drivers here, we got five in a seat. We got five drivers. Five more to go. Sweet. This should be the last of the drivers if you're wanting to join. Uh, you still so, yeah. can, actually. Oh, actually, uh, it says there's 15, but I believe a lot of them have disconnected or so. Yeah, probably. Um, but yeah, if you still if you're still watching and you want to be able to join us, you still can. 
Uh, all you have to do is show up right before the race starts. We'll let you in. You'll just be put in the very, very back. And you don't want to be in the back of this unless you're wanting overtakes. All I'm saying, if you want to make big moves on everyone, start in the back. But uh, you shouldn't be expecting your, your first, second, third places from that position. Ludo. <laughs> Except for Ludo, who believes he can do it. Um, currently wandering around behind all the drivers here. But here they go, yeah. the bottom five drivers, the last ones here. Oh, we have, uh, I think Blip. Blip, Dash, JFK. <laughs> Blip doesn't Blip realize Dash, he's ready JFK. to go. Oh, he's, he's going now. But here we go, so, it's Gabe is wait, here. Wait, 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 he seems to be... Uh, Evolver is here. Uh, who is this right here? Uh... I'm Seiko. I don't know. I'm, trying, I'm, I'm getting him out. I'm getting him out. There you go. And uh, is, is Blip uh, unaware? Yeah, no, there he, he goes. I got him out. I got him out. <laughs> Blip finds there his way go. around. Good, good job, Blip. <laughs> you made it out of the pit. Unfortunately, all those other drivers seem to have disappeared. That's quite a, quite an awful lot. Ten drivers or so. Uh, missing. <laughs> we, got, we got some racing action going on here as well. Here's Finn Java versus uh, Evolver here. Oh, and there's the bump. You expect, you expect there's only five people on the on the grid here that uh, there shouldn't be any people running into each other, but here's some more people coming through. <laughs> Ildis, uh, not Ildis. Go. Reki uh, is currently also riding this guy's boat, and Gabe. he goes really wide. <laughs> Meanwhile, Blip Dash is back in the track. It's back on the track in contention with all of them, but he messes up still behind. <laughs> Yeah, so right here. There's only five drivers on the grid. You guys need, have plenty of track to separate, but they elect to fight it out. Trying no, to no, uh... no. They want the, they want they want their air to be oh. a whole lap ahead. <laughs> They're very greedy with the air. Otherwise, Evolver is the one in front. He's gonna be um uh, he's gonna be pulling away actually. And Pinchava it's gonna Finn Java is gonna fight Gabe here as well. Oh, there you go. Oh, watch out for the bump there, there go. Gabe. Oh. He's gonna get bumped. Oh, there oh, he goes. He oh, you could have seen it coming from a mile away line. too. But Finn Java goes wide. So does oh, so does oh. Gabe though. And here comes Blip, but he Blip. <laughs> he tried diving. Well, he gets past he Gabe here. I'm sorry, uh, Seiko. Yeah, good for him. Oh, there's but... another version of the track. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, just a man wandering around what the parks of Albert you... Park. Buddy, the park is doing, closed. <laughs> no the walking your is... dog right now. <laughs> oh, look oh, at this, my. going into the main straight. <laughs> oh, Blip gets <laughs> Oh, a bump from Blip. And here he comes. <laughs> Nico, getting the overtake here. This is not a race, guys. This is trying to find a lap, guys. Making chill it look out, like chill out. Here. And here he goes, Blip. <laughs> oh, and Seiko way into the sand there as well. Uh... My gosh. It's hilarious racing. Well, I think most... Yeah. Wait, look at this. Blip actually got a vote tab off... Uh, who is this? Who is this? Pin Java. There you and go. And now he's in uh, Santana with him. He's going to go and down He's going to make the overtake. Oh, big move from <laughs> from Blip there. And he's going to overtake he's gonna him another over. one. <laughs> another Blip. one. Blip. Oh, my Kale. gosh. And here he goes. Pin Java versus um, Evolver here. We got some insane racing from the five of them. Somehow, <laughs> oh, there goes uh, there goes Evolver right there, hitting oh, the no, back. Oh no, Blip messes up. Oh Blip no, <laughs> and it's overtake. Oh, and it's he bumps uh, he bumps Manny. Evolver as well. These drivers cannot find clean air. Can you imagine if you're one of these five drivers and you actually have air? How much of a faster time you'll hit just because there's no one around you? I feel like everyone has hit everyone else twice already. <laughs> this one mind, lap. Ludo. Ludo, El Saco, Sotomi, Hotspot, and everyone in the front of the, um, of the grids will be dealing with these same drivers. For and sure. These... If, they, if they lap. Yeah, <laughs> if they lap them. They'll, be, they'll, they'll definitely be passing them, I would say, so at maybe, least two or three times during this race. This may be a game of strategy instead of uh, who has the faster pace. Yeah, pit strategy is going to be so important here. We'll explain how pit strategy works a little bit later. But for now, we're going to watch these oh, guys try yeah. to set their fastest times in here. Pijama messed up. Pijama messed up the, uh, the exit on the back straight here. Here he goes. First lap for him. It's a 157. And, and Blip, Blip 152. A but he frosty grinds on the straight. He gets bumped, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's not the over only... yet. <laughs> Pijama's I back. I think oh, they only have one my. more lap to go. And Evolver here is going to have a bit of clean air to do so. 
But he yeah, he's been wide a bit. He still saved a whole second and he scrapes a bunch. <laughs> scrapes a bunch in one turn. Yeah, the rest of the jar is coming him. through. I don't know what's going on with the, the five drivers here, but they're putting oh, on gosh. some really crazy race action. <laughs> Is this is it? This isn't the Grand Prix. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see Gabe's boat tap here? He's up ten seconds now. Now can he? Now the question is, can he um, uh, get a better time now compared to compared to the other guys in his qualifying? Oh, he oh, goes, Gabe he goes, goes really wide. Wide. If I was gonna make the overtake, <laughs> Gabe gets punished again for doing it. <laughs> and, oh my gosh. Such oh, crazy man. overtakes happening with well, I, I expected the you know the first two heats have a little bit of this, but how does the last heat with only five drivers have so many more overtakes and bumps with a third of the amount of people from Q1? I, it's mind boggling. It is an, ab an absurdly small number for the for qualifying. They have lots of clean air. You guys are sitting. Don't any, they don't have any chance to take advantage of clean air because they keep messing up. No. And here he goes. <laughs> Gabe messes up again. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, oh sorry, boy. Yeah, oh, boy. Yeah. oh, and yeah, Gabe, Gabe spins around here. He's, he's not going to get a good time now. And he's going to be scraping oh, there goes, but Here's that blip. No, it's Seiko coming through. <laughs> Currently sitting third on this oh, leaderboard. Yeah, Surely, with good. the amount of chaos in this race, no one in this league, or sorry, in this heat, is going to be anyone from the previous two. They just here can't seem to get over. around each other. Wait, look at Devolver though. He's gonna try to he's gonna try to beat Zico here. Six seconds up on his time. Can he keep it that way? You are currently twenty yes, seconds he behind. Does, yes, he will. Moves up to third on this group of five. Good for him. Zico doesn't seem to be improving, and he's on a back straight. Yep, he's not gonna improve. There goes Zico. Unfortunately, no time from him. It's Gabe ten uh, one tenth down. He doesn't prove by a tick, just barely. Doesn't get it's not gonna get him anywhere. Unfortunately, he might have to start from the back of the grid. Yep. And I believe that is everyone in this yeah, third call time he We have twenty-five people on the grids now. Who who've done their qualifying? Unfortunately, people many people have um disconnected too. Yeah, we'll we'll see some of the some of these drivers maybe return for the race. They may have missed qualifying in some way. So um my gosh. Um I believe this oh i can't the, the heat's not over so we'll have to wait till the heat finishes and we can see the entire order uh of everyone qualifying how crazy is that guys how crazy do you think uh, wait, the race mickey is gonna game? be if we have something just like that wait who is mickey game mickey game is i have no idea um they're yeah, on the game server be in the yeah he's on the server what well looks like the results are finished um Uh, let me try and find the full order if I'm remembering round results. Oh, there you go. There's the full order. Pacing and there right you there. go. Okay. Yeah, me so, I mean, it was a while ago, and a lot of things have happened since, but remember, El Saco is on pole position, 135 flat, Luda right behind, Satomni in third. We'll go down to the rest of the order, um, but those drivers in the back, unfortunately, couldn't get anywhere. Significantly behind the guys. Life, and, uh, Life Network barely holding on over Blip Dash in that third queue. And, um, yeah, the rest of the order all through here. Next, Simon, only in 11th right now. Hello, uh, Adam. We ready to race, lads? <laughs> Adam is here. Hello, yeah, Adam. Oh, Adam, you missed ready to get underway with the racing boys? Yes, we yeah, are. Adam, Dude, we've already had go. racing. We've already had racing in Q3 there if you missed it. Holy cow. Five drivers on track, and they could not get over each other. Well, you're in for a great time seeing tons more happen right now. We'll get that souped up soon. You <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Of course, so Adam, Adam is the, the head honcho of the ABG, dis, uh, the ABG Discord, the Prospect server, as well as FC1. Remember, if some of these drivers are fast enough, and uh, a lot of these drivers are here to get recognition to be quick, just like with the real F2, uh, get signed to FC1 teams and hopefully race. We've seen quite a few of those drivers uh, move up yeah, through the know, ranks like that. Uh, we know Paper Storm Yoshi Rage. is one of them. Yep, Paper Yoshi had his first FC1 race today, I believe. Yoshi, Echo Evo. Uh, Storm Rages, um, what's it called? Two eight one eight. It's one of them too. 
Yeah, all these drivers. Remember, you can be like them too. If you continue going to FC2 races just like this, we happen to race on these every single time there's an F1 race at about um, about 12.30 or so uh, p.m. PST, which is, oh gosh, is that 2? 2? 2.30 EST? Um, maybe I'm wrong on that. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, <laughs> start of this race. Every single time, oh, there we go. There's the order. Oh, Sokka is actually missing. A bit yeah, concerning. Said, he, he said this was, um, his game's loading. Okay, well, there we go. So he should be any, uh, in here any moment. But let's go through the grid here. That's not the Papa is currently uh, off track right now, but he will be there. So tell me, right behind Hutspot, Lurk, Brecky, Grey Wasp, Juge was taken, um, Philo in 8th, Mighty Creative in ninth, Simon in 10th, Iltis Amor in 11th, Surge Assam in 12th, Evolver in 54th, TCAD, Hard Frog, Marky, Castle Bricks, Whalery, The Life Network, Blip, Pinjava, Evolver, and it's Gabe's. And then it looks like some drivers at the back here. They'll be pushed up. What? Mickey Game what and is Ludo. What's going on in the back here? <laughs> what is going on in the back here? Ludo and Mickey Game. They'll be pushed forward <laughs> shortly enough. Um, if you wanted to race, this is your last chance. Get on within the next minute well, Ludo, or so. Ludo got what he asked for. He's all the way back here in, <laughs> in a hilarious spot in the grid. Yeah, yeah he's and not a good head, yes. <laughs> With all these drivers, let's talk about pits for a second, because some of you guys may not know. You have to go into the pit lane twice. You can see in the bottom right, everyone needs to do two pits. Blip Dash, obviously, hasn't started the race, so he's at zero pits. Um, you have to go to the pit lane twice. Uh, all you have to do is drive all the way through to the end here. Um, I believe... Is there a, is there pig stops here? I don't... Is it right here? No. We're, we're just, I don't think uh, there's pig stops in FC2 today. But all you have to do no. is drive all the way through the pit lane twice in the yeah, race and you can't uh, do it on the last lap that's two race control confirms drive through pits no no pick stops for everyone so it's going to be a quicker pit for everyone yeah all right so, and of course yeah, there's very uh, very big deal of strategy as well involved as you can imagine getting behind uh getting around other drivers by going into the pits stuff like that finding just cleaner that, air just that guy four six six four it's going to be in the back here with Ludo and Miki. <laughs> These guys in the back. So I. Oh, here we and, go. Uh, I guess like, they're starting oh. from way back downtown, those guys. But here we go. FC2 in Osaka Australia is back. underway. Osaka leading the pack here. Satomni right behind Hutspot, holding on to that third. But here goes the run into turn one. Watch. Oh, Osaka goes. gets Osaka bumped is up. along with Lurik. Serge Assam cuts through the midfield. Also gets bumped as well. Brecky takes P2. Brecky currently seat P2. The rest of these drivers finding their way into turn one only now. And here they are. Wait a minute. In the All back. of this card is on turn three. It's card is on turn three. Lots of people getting bumped. Luring, making a many positions. It's a five man battle here in tandem. All of them together. Luring made it past all of them. So Tumni takes the lead from third place. Brecky right behind him. Suraj is there. And Hudspot is going to try and fight against Suraj. That's where I'm here. Suraj got a really good start. He's all the way up to third. Surge, Surge Assam definitely time. has quite oh a position he's in right now. He's found himself in the third spot, holding off one of the fastest drivers in FC2. That's Hut spot. See if and he can do Juge. it. Juge is also going to be in P6 with Mighty Creative in P5. They both got a really good start as well. Hut spot's going to try to dive here on onto uh, Suraj Desaram, but he's bow lagging very heavily. Yep, he's going to have to find it's another route here. Oh he's my gosh. He's going to take a different line, and he still gets boat lag. He's still trying to so find a way goes, around. Here's the dive. dive down the inside and Big move from well. Hotspot there. That's dangerous. The rest of these drivers coming through. Lurk scraping on the outside, as well as Whalery. Um, no, Hard Frog really found himself there. Osako, oh my gosh, falling all the way down the order. He's currently in 11th place from pole position, losing 10 positions in the first lap. Same with Simon, only 14th for him. And look at this, Ludo is in 12th too. And we have our first group of people pitting. I imagine Osako is there. He goes, yes, actually missing yes. the entrance just a little bit for him. But him, yeah. Lyric, and Simon, all of them like to do the first lap pit stop, which isn't uh, an uncommon strategy for these drivers. But, yeah, no matter um, what, it's, the Life Network is also going to be the last one going into the pit. But they they could regret doing this um, later in the race when they find themselves behind perhaps three, four, five backmarkers all right next to each other. But for Hover, now... Hover Hutchpot now improves up to third. Good for him. And Mighty Creative is trying to get past 
He's trying to get past, and he does actually. Suresh so Dasaram is trying to hold on, but he's out of he's out of the zone, uh, the uh, Tanab zone. Yeah. And now Ju just gonna be fighting with Suresh Dasaram just like they did in qualifying. It's a rematch between the two of them, but Suresh goes really wide. And Suresh Juj loses once fight. again. Grey was finding that position from currently sitting seventh place behind Juj. Yeah, out of nowhere, Grey Wolf finds himself. Excuse me, sixth place. Mighty Creative out. bumping on the exit. Ju's going to try and find this overtake here. They're in tandem now, right next to each other. However, Mighty's, Mighty's going to try and fight back, though. He has more exit speed. Look at him go. Let's see what can do Ju's here. going to be on the packed ice, though. Mighty's going to stay on the blue ice, diving oh, down. Oh, too much Mighty blocks for... Uh, too much on the inside for Mighty Creative. He's only going to find and himself with Grey Wasp now. Yep. Grey Wasp is going to find himself in tandem against Mighty here. Mighty has a better exit off the... This turn, though, the technical turn. However, Grios is not letting it go. He wants to fight it out the whole way. He's electing to stay win. out on the track, not going to the pit lane. He's ah, he's but gonna he get bumped blocked. on the exit of the turn there. Last corner on the Other straight. Than that, though, Satomni, has set the fastest lap too. Yep, Satomni has found himself in clean air. It's gonna be the rarest. It's gonna be the most cleaner he's gonna see all race. I bet you. Uh, right yeah, now, yeah, he's pulling away from Brecky as well. Six seconds in front of Brecky right now for Satomni. Very well done from him. Good launch out the start from third place. He's going to pull a car sense in this race. He very well could. Brecky coming in behind. Got some air behind him as well with Hudspot. But uh, not over for Juge and Mighty Creative here. Both right next to each other once again. I am paying attention to the, to the pits though. And they, there's a group of three people in the pits and I don't know how it's going to affect them all. Philonu and Tekken both coming out almost at the same time. And Flip Dash is still gonna be behind him despite not pitting. And he goes really wide on the first turn, sadly oh. for him. Yeah, and the, the life and the life network is gonna be catching up to him as well. So it this is the this is gonna be their battle for the slowest. Otherwise hard wait, hard Oh here they go. Gonna... Oh. A bump from Blip, but oh, uh, the life I network forget. trying to find his way on the inside, but goes too quickly in there. Notable fact, though, um, Ludo is rapidly approaching Suraj right now. The original po original pole sitter, um, uh, who decided to start from the back just for fun, is catching up and trying to get uh, P7 from Suraj. Yep, Ludo definitely has the pace to do it. Let's see if he can do it quickly and effortlessly, because that's all that's important here in this oh, wait race. Wait, so went for a pit. So Tommy's going for a pit. Boy, that's bold from him. I wonder why. Has he caught up to back already? And he's already? one second behind Jude. Oh, I don't know if that was oh. the best move there, Satomi. Oh, and Ludo Ooh. finds himself in tandem with Suraj here. Oh my gosh. I th Maybe Satomi's getting bored. He just wants some action. And he dives down the inside. He's going to try and make this, the overtake here. But Suraj fights back and does not let Ludo pass him that easy. Ludo's going to try to go around the outside, and it works. He does. Very well done from him. Yeah, he certainly is going to hold off Surge now. Yep. The move has there been completed. Go. So that's, that's one down. That's one down. Six more to go, Ludo. Let's Surge is trying it. as hard as he can to stay within the pace of everyone around him, but he can't seem to do it, uh, unfortunately. But he he's doing all right so far, currently sitting eighth. Uh, with no oh, steps. wait, look at this. Battle for first place. Hudspot versus Brecky. Well, they, they both, oh, they they both go and deep. Collide. And they collide. It's, this is Alpig Builder versus Alpig Racer. <laughs> there you go, yes. Hudspot currently signed to the Alpig team. Brecky is right now in the reserve slot for them. And uh, Brecky trying to hold off uh, his superior right here. Let's see what he can do. Pinchava's actually a lap down, and Juj is trying to get past him. So Tommy goes for his, his second pit, very early from him. He must be putting himself to a Pinchava challenge. And he, he actually bumps Juj. Juj is going to lose a lot of time from that. And Mighty, Mighty Grey Wasps are going to get close to him soon. Yeah, this is a long train. Wait a minute. Ludofax is already caught up to this train, too. Can he overtake all of them, though? He has the pace, but does he have the overtaking skill? Let's see, let's see. They're running to turn so, four right there. Oh, another battle though. Next Simon. 
Next time, we try to get past Revolver. If you TP me, there's, uh, they're in town. Oh, right here now. we oh, go. Oh, Down the main straight. <laughs> That was a slam dunk from next Simon. Well done, man. And uh, oh, but he frosty but grinds he, on the oh, exit. He frosty, grind. he frosty grinds and doesn't get a good first turn. Oh, he turn. had the position all done and dusted. And oh, we'll look at this! Though. Ludo right has there. more speed. Ludo's gonna be clearing off Gray Wasp here, making it look like Paris getting DRS. But he gets oh bumped. Oh my gosh! Deep he gets into bumped the by another backmarker, and Gray Wasp is gonna try and fight back now. He's back in tandem versus Ludo. Fact: Ludo has a cleaner line through these lines, though. Um, this track, though, and Gray Wasp is gonna take the um, the safer option by staying out. And oh, Pin oh, Java misses up. Oh, more people. Pin Java parting his way through the top drivers. Here comes Satomni, the current leader, oh, who's Tumney's already taken two did. pits. Yeah, he's a pit. He's the pit leader right now, trying to get past two backmarkers here or two slow drivers at the Gray same Wasp time too. There goes one. There oh, goes that's Pinjava. One <laughs> that's one down. He gets slightly bumped though, but he's not going to be affected too much by it. Mighty Creative is going to go for his first pit as well. Yeah, it makes it a little bit easier for Satomni trying to fight through these slower drivers. Oh, look at this, Hutspot. Oh, Hutspot had to uh, pull out as well from uh, from the battle against Brecky, but. Yeah, he's uh, he's currently being slowed down a lot by him. Yeah, if he's going to want to try and find his way around with company, who's already taken both of his pits, which isn't the best idea to pit so early. Wait a minute. Um, Wait a minute. We have Brecky is approaching back markers. This might change the lead here. Oh, there he's goes gonna get Brecky. Spot is going to go in the middle. He's going to go in between it. He takes the race lead. And Brecky has lost the race lead to back markers getting bumping him. And now, Hotspot is approaching and laughing the Life Network. Can he get past him? And Brecky is past the first backworker who bumped him. But I see Hotspot trying to make a move on him here. He oh, goes, really goes wide, wide for Network. Clean line from him. And Brecky is going to try and catch up to, um, to this backmarker. Who goes Hotspot's really wide. And now Brecky is going to be trying to, trying to exit out. He has... I know Brecky is fast enough to try to overtake this guy, but he goes for a pit. So over electing, no, sorry, no network electing to pit him, there. But, Brecky but, gonna find himself a few seconds behind high spot there with quite a lot of air for them. Let's go back to yep. uh, Satomni here, who is finding himself behind more and more back markers. He's gonna try and find his way around Blip Dash, but unfortunately Blip comes out right in line with him. Right on the straight here, he's got to be careful, especially now Blip. Now behind oh, Satomi. Boy, this is chaos ready to happen. And there it is, and right gets, before um, the start you line. Got, you got a little too uh, too risky there. And Satomi is going to be fighting two two slower drivers. He bumps the life network while overtaking him. Now it's Grey Wasp. He has done both his pits. Mighty has just completed his second pit. And Grey Wasp has a slightly wider line there. Satomi is catching up a bit, but he's forced into a wide line because it's Ghost is right in front of him. So Satomi cannot, by the way, Satomi cannot pit, and it, we're not even uh, halfway through the race yet. Yeah, for sure. Satomi has elected to pit both times. He can't escape these backbreakers now. If he wanted to pass these guys uh, or get away from them without having to pass them, he can't do that anymore. Unlike everyone else who can use a, um, who can use a pit to uh, to avoid. Satomi has used close. both of his already. Time. Oh, he has a very, very clean line. How are he, he's in? Huge oh, he scrapes on the bumped. outside. Yeah, he scrapes the outside. He's gonna be fighting with game now. Another backmarker of his, and he gets boat lag off the side too. Fortunately for him, he couldn't overtake them. So it's a Tommy now. Let's watch oh, him he, coming he through. He strikes back. <laughs> he strikes back on game, not giving up. The, not giving. He's gonna up run the just air. that guy, but he's oh, just down the inside. He's trying. Oh, just that guy. He's gonna try and defend against Satomi here. They're both in tandem together. Just that guy. Is, he goes really wide, and Satomi gets the so position. Satomi gets past both of them. If you see that he's looking up all the time, uh, Satomi, that's when he's looking behind him. You can tell. Yeah, he seems actually seems kind of anxious to be honest. Yeah, he shouldn't worry right. about the people behind him now. He is certainly right, in the sure. lead with plenty of air sure. now. He's gonna take his first pit here. And he's actually in a pit with El Sacco flying out with a pit as well. He's going to be trying to take it, take back uh, the position cool. from him. And look at this, a spider has appeared. Oh my gosh. This? We're on turn one here and a spider has appeared. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I didn't expect race. this one to be Lot this big in Australia. Just... Oh, there it goes. Yep. It's gone again. <laughs> that was an oh, interesting uh, moment there. Going Giant back to Drew, spider. she's going to be trying to overtake another backmarker. It's that guy as well, with El Sako and Lurk trailing behind him. It's a small train between the, uh, the four of them, and that guy goes a little wide. So El Sako's going to try to make, make way for himself here. Going to try to get past that guy. <laughs> Let's see what he can do here. El Sako, one of the best. Let's see what he can do against just that guy. Yeah, just that guy. He's going to be sending it around the outside. He's going to pull Sergio Perez here, and he's going to pass his ghost. Oh, there he goes. Really now. Acting like Sergio Perez. Man started <laughs> from the back, coming all the way to, to the top, <laughs> and is chasing out Juge for position. Uh, Flash yeah, says, yeah. has there been a Russell crash yet? You're going to have to wait until the last lap to answer that one. There's certainly been lots of chaos, lots of crashing here today. Oh, look at Juge and Castle Breaks too. They're both fighting here. Castle Breaks being a lot behind Juge here down in the back. Actually, straight. We, Who gets the we gotta look at, uh, we gotta stray from those because Brecky and Hutspot seem to be pretty Wait, close Brecky, to each Hutspot, other. The spider covers up most of turn one again. What is going on? Chaos. Oh my gosh, it's huge. It is huge. I oh, gotta be it's careful gonna, of that leg. Oh, oh, just with that guy Jesus avoiding it. We're going to watch right. people hit this spider here. Huge spider. We saw it on the... Moved earlier. Yeah, but here it is. Mighty Creative uh, getting his way again. through. There's two yeah, legs so people maybe... have to avoid. Blip hitting one of them. Oh, boy. Think... This spider is messing up some races. And I think Suresh made a good decision to go pit because of how slow the, how slow the, the line to the spider is. All right. So, yeah. Um, Hotspot and Brecky have uh, have swap position again. I don't know what caused it. Yeah, we missed that and overtake, it, unfortunately. It chaos. <laughs> it's chaos on turn one. Gabe, Gabe and Evolver are stuck here. And it's next time and it's next, he's he's actually going to do it pretty clean. Dang, clean. Very confident Flash. for his first lap through that spider. Maybe he didn't see it. Maybe he was very ready for it. But <laughs> Simon there you go. managed to make it through. Giant oh my spider. Goodness. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, here comes two more. Oh boy. Uh, it's Gabe yeah. has has stopped himself yeah, on the yeah, track. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, Hotspot is yeah. Hotspot is gonna catch up to some backmarkers. Tekken is gonna be the one he's fighting. Brecky is gonna get also got past um, Gabe here. Gabe got oh, bumped. Oh, watch out! Gabe is coming and through. He's gonna bump Tekken or Tekken, and Hotspot is gonna make his way through Hutspot. both of them. Well, not from him. Greyloff's just going to go for a pit as well. Hotspot now finding front, himself actually. about four seconds behind Brecky right now. So Tommy, 20 seconds behind him. Wait, he overtook Ludofax too. What happened to Ludofax here? He's probably struggling behind the back markers. This maybe the spider. And maybe the turn one spider hey, he has hit. It might be. So Tommy is two pits down. So, so Tommy it has two pits down and... It might be a good strategy because the spider seems to be slowing down people very much. And that's uh, the opportunity for Satomni to catch up and destroy everyone to win the race. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see. We've got about six laps to go here in this race. Uh, Twag over here saying, most average spider oh, another in spider has appeared. Another spider has appeared. Oh my gosh, there it is. It's on a chicane. It's on a chicane. It just appeared in front of Satomni's eyes. With the two back markers ahead of him, it's Wary and Gabe. Wary's gonna make a move. There's a third spider on the track. What is this? <laughs> oh and my so Tommy's gosh! And gonna try to make a move. Wary is gonna go wide. He's gonna go through both of them. Good overtake from the two of the on the two of them. Ludo, it's gonna pass one. It's Wary, and L Ludo is gonna try to pass Gabe here. He has a better exit speed, and Gabe frosty scrapes. <laughs> Oh, but not enough with the Willery getting bumped as well. Yeah. Here comes Osaka, going to try and find fit himself through both of them. Osaka yeah. actually moving up quite a few positions, considering he started... Despite um, having a bad start, he, yeah. he did very well. And he's currently sitting fifth with one pit stop, which is pretty dang good compared to the guys in front, like Ludo, oh, Hutspot, see, and Brecky. Let's see him take, see him take, take a first turn. Very Osaka confident through really, that spider. He has a very nice line through that, going around the outside of that one that one spider leg 
Well done from you, Saka. True. Uh, El Saka going through turns two and three there. Grady Bob's just done his uh, his second fit now. Rush is also going for a second fit, knowing that the spider is going to be slowing down. Yeah, here comes Osako, oh. and there's another spider! Oh my gosh, that's... Uh, no, that's Osako bumps into one of the legs. This one's got to be careful. Holy oh, cow, you got to find one, a gap oh, to these. very tight here. And look at this oh train my going gosh. through. Lurik is struggling behind them. And Ju just going to try and fight it out against Lurik. It's chaos in this turn. They're everywhere. And Lurik's sending down the inside on Ju, and it works very well for him. Lurk getting Good the stuff. best of that turn. Holy cow, these giant spiders are really shaking up the order here between these drivers. Yeah, let's see them let's see them going to the next spider. This instead, it seems like the spiders are gonna be Oh, there's down another and... one! They're yeah, everywhere. One... Seems like the spiders, instead of instead of speeding up the drivers, they seem to be slowing them down. And that one leg, you don't wanna bump into that one leg. <laughs> oh, there's another one right here as well on the straight. Don't hit that one. Uh, otherwise, you lose yep. all your speed on the straight. You watch, yeah, exactly. uh, yeah, mighty, mighty creative oh, hitting the block trying stop. The, yeah, trying to go for the block stop, but it didn't go that well for him. Wait a minute, Tekka, Tekka is very close to Elsa's more here. This seems to be the the closest battle other than back markers for position. So yeah, Tekka is currently sitting goes. fifteenth he's to, to two points. him down. Let's see how they take the spider section. Here comes Evolver. Almost getting in the way of Ilta Samora, a returning driver from last uh, FCU 2 race. Oh, he's got to be careful, Ilta Samora. Yeah. And Tekka is, is going to be very, going to get very close to Evolver here. And flying spiders everywhere, says Adam. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. They seem to you be more noticed? grown. They are everywhere right now. You just Holy noticed, Adam? Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, there's there's actually a four man train here. Oh, Almost watch five. out! <laughs> watch out for uh, oh, there's some more around. Um, who is that? Oh, uh, blip oh, dash right there. Wait a Hotspot, Hotspot getting fast. Another person. Oh, Brecky's here's a three way tandem between Techad, Evolver, and Blip right here. Coming through the last few turns here. Oh my! Here they go into the last chicane. Who's gonna get a better? Oh, they are all that. right Mind next here. to each oh, other. Here goes Evolver trying to get past, but Tekken has to better exit, but he messes up. He scrapes. He's he gone. Scrapes. And he's gone. Here comes oh, Tom with a better bumped. exit speed. And Tekken he's going to bumped. get past both of them on the street. <laughs> oh, insane, my gosh. insane moves from Satomni. He is in third right now, caught up to Brecky, who has done a pit, and Satomni gets past Brecky. Who we thought was leading the race with Brecky, so Tony has managed to pass him. And another him. spider has appeared on turn oh, three. Oh my gosh. Even, oh, this one's go, so Carter's... close to the ground, too. Oh, I think they can I think they can wall tap this though. Look at the look at how that uh that leg is positioned. But yeah, see Hard Frog went for it, but it's a very risky one though. You it's yeah, either so you... Tony is still stuck between three people. Here he goes, trying to make a round evolver as well, and he managed to get through the spider evolver, hitting a leg. Three laps to go for Satomni. Currently lap 13. He's doing a very good job here. Definitely net P1. And Hudspot is um, still has to do his pits. Oh, so, so Satomni's um, approaching two back versus Pit Java versus... And um, what is it? Ilka Ilka Samar. Samar. Yeah. Here he goes. Oh, There's another Samar. spider. Line. And what the heck? Satomni with a double overtake out of nowhere. Probably surprising to both of them, and there's some. Oh, watch out for that spider! Right. Dang, Tommy almost and hit that. And Brecky's gonna try to find his way around another person. Ludo is gonna. Ludo's trying to catch up as well. Oh he my! He has another God. back marker to get past, and he cleared one. It so. is absolute chaos this entire time. It's so hard to keep up with every single action point. And oh my gosh, Ludo trying to find his way around Brecky. As um, you said, this uh, this track is gonna be home to some crazy action. <laughs> Brecky so going into the pits. Go Ludo so is, is Ludo. as well. Oh. <laughs> Ludo probably wasn't expecting that one to happen, but he's going to have to deal yeah. with Brecky being in front of him. Oh my gosh, there's a spider on the pit lane as well. On the pit lane. It's not not like it's going to affect anyone, but... Giant spider infestation yeah, in this race. Looks very, it looks very distracting. <laughs> Alright, so exiting a pit stop. Brecky actually almost bumps Blip Dash. And Blip 
but uh, Hard Frog, Hard Frog and Blip Dash are gonna be going through this. I'll join spider. when FC four yeah. becomes a thing. Never mind FC five. The seeing that move, oh boy! So here you go, Ludo. Oh, they both go for the wall tap. Ludo and Hard Frog are still on top. Brecky messes up. Ludo's in front of Brecky. Oh, However, Brecky is still up a pit though. Brecky can still get a, a podium on this race. It's not over. Certainly not for Brecky. Hotspot still has uh, to both of his pits. Oh, oh did you see Ludo that? Ballet. Did you see what Ludo, Ludo did there? Yeah, Ludo. Ludo. Got an insane overtake at Brecky. Oh, Brecky's messing up behind <laughs> behind network here. Blip is pleading is to race control to get rid of the spiders, and he's not going to get it. Oh my gosh. The spiders, keep Adam, making more saves, the spiders keep making more babies. They seem there. They seem like very big babies, Adam. I don't know about you. Adam, <laughs> on top power. of the pest control oh, right now, he seems to be oh. overrun, though. Maybe we need more on the oh, look at this, though. The Hutspot animal service here. He's forced to go for a pit stop, and oh, and Satomi is gonna dive into it into Hotspot, but it's not over yet. Hotspot is gonna fight out against oh, so he scrapes bumped. on turn one. He gets bumped. Unfortunate for him. Tommy certainly taking this away by, by storm. He is now solidly in first place with two pits. It's gonna be really tough for anyone to pass him now. So yeah. far ahead, he had such an so advantage ahead, from I'm, turn I'm one. Above as well, he is approximately thirty something seconds ahead of uh, ahead of Brecky. When he finally got to the spiders. Remember, so Tommy, uh, let's look look back at this race start here. He started third and. With Osaka messing up turn one, as well as overtaking Brecky, or no, excuse me, Hotspot, I believe, for that second spot, he has found himself in first position by the end of two turns, and he's essentially used that space to hold on and uh, gain so far ahead compared to everybody else, and what a dominant run for Satomini. He's only got two laps to go here, and... Um, Hotspot is actually forced to uh, to do another pit as well, by the way. So I don't know how that's going to play out. So is El Sakawa, too. Oh, it's another spider again. Another spider has appeared near Satomni. Oh my gosh, right on top of him, too. And then another spider, but not on track. <laughs> this is Australia, folks. I guess it's breeding season. <laughs> Very well. I don't know. I don't know if winter is breeding season for. Uh... Or fall is breeding season for the spiders. But yeah. anyway, so Tommy setting the fastest lap of the race. With, wow, he's only got one more to go. I'll watch him. That, as is, he... that is very <laughs> impressive from Satomi, considering the number of spiders and how normally, how normally weirdly placed these spiders are compared to FC1. Yeah. We have to look at Hutspot go, though. Exiting the pits right now. He's going to try and hold on to that second place, and it looks like he will. Osaka also in the pit lane. Uh, we'll yep. see. Hotspot. Wait, Hotspot has a has a good run then. He's in second place. Not bad for him. However, he's leaving seconds. now. Is he going to be in front of Mighty Creative here? He should be able to. Yeah, but during during Satomi's victory lap, he Satomi's victory lap still can still uh, counts um, two backmarkers. Yep. We'll watch Satomi here through the rest of his race, and he's going to try so and find his be, way around two more backmarkers by the end of this race. Yeah, it's gonna be just that guy and Suraj Desaram. And Suraj messes up. Satomi gets That's past one. That's one down for get... Satomi. Oh, but oh, he scrapes on the up. exit. He went, he went really wide. But I don't think it really matters that much, though, because um, this is his last lap. He's 26 seconds ahead of Hotspot and absolutely dominated this race. And then he gets past, he gets past uh, Suraj anyway because he bumps off the, the wall. Pinjava gets a DNF, sadly, just now. Yep, so um, here comes Satoni. Last few turns for him, and he will pick up the Oh, he's going to try to overtake another back marker. He's going to do it. Last turn here. He's Can he do it? Do it. Oh, I think he's, he's in the front. He more speed. And he's in front. He's in, he's front. in front. <laughs> <laughs> and Satoni taking the first place for this absolutely ending, chaotic yeah. race. Ending it off with an, a nice overtake. Will Hotspot get another overtake for himself as well? That's about in the oh, same no, situation, hard, actually. No, no, he gets bumped no, at the very he end. He gets bumped, sadly. So, hot spot. Cleaning up here. Job. Spectacular job from, uh, from Satomni. Hot spot in P2. Uh, very, well done. Yep. very well done from uh, El Saco, moving up to, to third place. Yeah, he started pole, but with a terrible, terrible first lap. He's managed to pull himself back 
all the way to third place. Good job for him finishing at the podium. Mighty Creative, so, not too far behind. There he goes in fourth place. Oh, Mighty got a good result here. Little facts from last, getting P5. There you go. And There's Lurie. your last to first challenge. Here <laughs> comes two more. Gonna be, yeah, Lurk is going to come in. Six. In front of Brecky. Brecky yeah, leading like, a lot uh, of the race, but unfortunately has fallen seems like a, towards seems the like end. a very solid, um, solid standings right now. The not much action going on left other than was in eighth as well. Huge finishing in ninth place here. Simon get picking up P10 actually. Yeah, That's it's a, not going to be his favorite race, is it for Simon? Yeah, he's got it's a lot to learn. But uh, I believe he has the pace. Oh, he's going to do a oh, 360. <laughs> What the heck is he doing? Well, at least he has enough space to head a Villeneuve, who's going to try to get past another back marker. And he's just, I mean, he does so. Finishing Villeneuve 10th gets there. One, yeah, Villeneuve, Villeneuve gets one there more there he is, overtake. an 11th. Yeah, Villeneuve gets one more overtake on Marky. My gosh. There's a song. So starting, right. starting the race on uh, lap one, quite, uh, he was sitting third yeah, or so. Had a great a start. start. And... Um, Kind of messed it up at the end, though. Yeah, he couldn't capitalize too much on here. And uh, that would be it. Yeah, um, next. Oh. Yeah, to Samora's next on P13. And then eight seconds behind him will be Evolver 54. Yep. Here comes the Evolver coming through. The rest of these drivers coming through. What a spectacular race this was. I'm so glad yep. we had so many people in this race, so many people watching this as well. So thank you guys for hanging out, and uh, of course we're still not uh, completely over yet. As the spiders yeah, a, slowly hype, go back into there. Such a hyped up race, dude. Hard, hard frog is on the last couple corners as well. He's gonna be next to finish here, yeah, and uh, I'm gonna go through the. <laughs> He's gonna go through the last chicane and finish P16. A notable fact, though, about uh, the fastest lap set this race. So Tommy said it while the spiders were on, by the way. Wow. Yeah, so, he definitely took advantage of those spiders for sure. Uh, who do we got in like, 17th oh, here? Well, we find them on track. Who is 17? Around the slow ones, the there it is, Marky. It's your yeah. favorite driver, Mark. Yeah, let's go, Marky! <laughs> Didn't see much action from Marky throughout this race. He must have been in the wrong place at the wrong time, but he's going to end his placement in 17th place for him marky 059 his first race 17th his for him not too bad done not done too bad for him castle breaks it's gonna finish in p18 and blip still has another lap to go we are in p19 let's see let's see can we find him just that guy here we go uh i believe yeah, just that guy well hold on just that guy actually has an issue here oops that's the wrong person yeah. Uh, he has an issue here. There he oh, goes. Oh, he's going to the pit. <laughs> he has an issue here. Pit. He still yeah, hasn't yes, completed uh, his pit stop. He didn't do his last pit. It's too late for him. He has to do another lap, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Uh, oh, no, he doesn't. It says he's completed his second pit, so he should be able to finish. No, no, he has on, he's on lap 17 now. He's on lap 17. He uh, has yeah. to do another lap. Yeah, okay. So oh. just that guy's going to learn the hard way. You cannot pit the last lap of a race. Um, because otherwise, you could shave off a lot more time. And stuff like that, and yeah. otherwise, everyone will be doing it. The maximum lap you can pit on is on lap 15 in this race. Yeah, so he's gonna learn the hard way. He's gonna have to do another lap and finish. Unfortunate ah, for him. Very um, unfortunate. You cannot the next one. Lap. The next guy to finish is gonna be the Life and Network. There he is. Life Network finishing P20 now because uh, I believe there he is. Yep, P20. There it is. <laughs> With him moving up over that. Just that guy. Yeah. Uh, Simon's in chat. He says P10. All right, I guess. Uh, it's all right. I think Simon, personally for you, I believe you could have done better. But uh, I believe you had more to it. Yeah. Last last couple of stranglers here. Uh, Blip dash is gonna be next into the finish line. He's on the last chicane. He stopped for some. What? He stopped for some reason. What? Does he realize he or hasn't he... finished? <laughs> my boy does he realize <laughs> he's on the last turn here he's on a, he he's has on decided to wait he's it on out the last turn he's throwing right now. <laughs> there he and goes and here he goes he's gonna go now oh 
Oh, he, <laughs> he lost his vote. He's gonna run. He's gonna run. He's gonna run. He's gonna run to the finish line. <laughs> I believe. I believe. You got it, man. Let's go. You got go. this. You got this, lad. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna run all the way through the finish straight here. I don't believe anyone's yeah, gonna yeah, be well, catching out to him. I wanna run with him. <laughs> There you go. You can expect this action in FC2. El Saka with him as well. El Saka's joining in as well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here comes Blip Dash. Goes, finishing P22. Don't finish. Oh yeah, don't fall, fall in. Don't fall in. <laughs> Almost Sorry, here. <laughs> Almost there, there man. Almost there. You got this. <laughs> there he goes. Blip Dash. And Blip Dash is gonna finish. <laughs> P twenty one for Blip Dash, making it all the way to the end. Oh, didn't expect the jog at the end. end. That's what matters. That's what matters. I believe um, Miku is the next one up. No, excuse me, he's in P twenty four. I suck at this. He says, "Well, you've got a workout surely at the end there." <laughs> As the spiders yep. move away into their nests, somewhere on track, must be at turn four, I believe, is where the nest is. Um. We will slowly start wrapping up this FC2 race. Holy cow, yeah. where is our podium? Where is it? And where are our top three drivers? There they are. Um, so uh, they're just chilling out, Osaka. relaxing. Osaka is, um, not here. Wait, what? No, he's Where's just oh, he's here. Back, back. Dash GT. There we go. Get over here. Get over here, you potato bag. My gosh. Well, there's your podium. Um, hopefully, we'll get everyone else finishing. Um, here, I will let them know. I don't want to TP everyone because I know there's some people still racing, like Miki Games. There. Yeah, Miki still has two laps to go. A lot of people saying. Um, FC2, anyone can join. FC1, you need a team, says Crumb. Yes. Uh, if you missed the beginning... Anyone can join these races from the start of qualifying to the start of the race. You're allowed to join. And um, there we go. Here's the snowballs oh, with the few a few spectators. Champagne. There we are. There's your podium. So tell me, on top, dominating this race with two pits at the very beginning. Cut spot, fighting his way through back markers, holding on to third. El Saco coming from it's behind very... after turn one, managing to pull himself back up to third place. It's very interesting, though. We have we had had. Uh... Three different race winners so far. Let's see if it changes to Suzuka though. Yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be in Suzuka in two weeks time. If you are new, please continue to be with us for Suzuka 2024. Uh, it'll be just as exciting, I'm sure. Um, of course, anyone can participate, even the newest of newest drivers. You can tell some of these drivers maybe in the first time they are on the ice for real and. Um, Hopefully, uh, we'll see you all there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think we'll end it there. Um, this is all hosted on the Frosthex server. The IP is right here. Frosthex.com is the server if you want to join. Of course, it's not just about FC1 racing. There is plenty other stuff to do. Time trialing with about 300 tracks. Check this out. Look at all these tracks you can race on. Oh my gosh. All of these tracks are quality tracks you can race on for Frosthex. And, uh, Some. <laughs> no, all of them are quality. Just trust. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and of course, uh, FC2 will always be on this channel here. FC1 on Adams. Uh, please go check both of those out, both of our channels. Um, we try and pride ourselves on the boat racing culture, expanding it to more and more people because we believe it is one of the tightest, greatest communities in the Minecraft universe. And... Um, yeah, thank you all for hanging out. We had a record-breaking stream today. I haven't mentioned that, but we hit 20 today, which I'm super happy. Thank you guys all for showing up and uh, enjoying this race together. Because it wouldn't be as exciting with all the people here. So I really while appreciate it. Sorry to interrupt, but while you're speaking, Miki is doing his final lap. In oh, T24. hold on, hold on. <laughs> Where is Miki here? We're not it's done not yet. Like the first turn. He's not, it's not over. He's going to be able to finish FC2 in <laughs> first race. He's gonna bump the wall. <laughs> He's gonna bump the wall early on the straight. Yeah, this is his first race as well. His first official uh, race. He's oh, the spiders are gone. You can probably get confused. Yeah, the spiders are gone, so that's good for him. He has like a, he just has a clean lap to do. Uh, Flash so, says, "Is the whitelist off now?" Uh, I'm pretty sure it's been off for a while. Um, it's it's usually off for uh, FC two 
and yes. it's on for FC one only. Uh, Karata says, "What is Adam's channel? Adam's apples." Uh, Adam. Well, there you go. You can see his name right there. He hosts so, the okay. FC one, which is the premier division of this league. So while well, we get to watch the chaos of all these fast, um, all these newer drivers, um, Adam Stream has the fast ones, um, like myself, like Owen Tier, and um, certainly there, there's lots of competitiveness in that league as well. Co- much more different style to here. Uh, of course, same track, um, same length. Everything is almost identical. Just uh, the um, the drivers there are restricted to only the fastest. Only the top 20 or so are able to race there. Go check it out. It's a, The status are actually pretty close. The standings are close. We've seen um, a lot of people. Uh, Rocket, ha- Rocket, has just, Rocket Race has just uh, won two races in a row so far. But Crumb has been getting very consistent podiums. So there's yeah. a lot of action to wait for in FC1. And we're not even... Oh, we're we're only three quarter. races in, guys. It's only three we're races. Only three. Out of 24, and the last one being at um, November, I think, or December. Uh, it is in December this year, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the first right. ever F1 race in December, as well as FC1, of course. Remember, we follow the F1, ca- the real F1 calendar. And all all right, as we speak, Miki Games in P24 into the back straight. <laughs> Here comes Miki coming through, being able to finish. To finish. We've been waiting for him to finish this lap, and he he gets P24. Congratulations, Miki. They will finish P24. I believe that is everyone who is still around. My gosh. Yeah, what? The other I think the other sir DNF'd. <laughs> what a crazy race here today, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll be seeing all of it once again in two weeks' time, I imagine. On Suzuka, let's take a look at that track real quick. Um, oh, the- Suzuka's going to be a... Uh... Uh, I don't know which version we're going to be using. There's two different versions of it. Um, there's a flat yeah, one. we're taking the 3D version or, or the flat one. It may be the 3D version, which um, will be a little bit new uh, to a lot of you guys. Uh, as you can tell, there is elevation in this track, Suzuka. Um, we use a mod. Everyone racing needs the uh, the Open Boat Utils mod um, to run. Are you giving a double up? <laughs> and, uh, of course, on the... Um, Oh, there you are. Is that you right there? There you are. Hey, Mark. Um, Hello. Yeah, so it's able to have, like, look at it. He's going up blocks seamlessly. Um, and uh, that's what the mod allows, unfortunately. Um, the only way to do that is with the mod. So um, we will probably be racing on a track just like this uh, in two weeks' time. Should be able to get support if you, you're in the Discord, by the way. Yes. Um, any of the Discords, any of the boat racing Discords will definitely help you. Um, install the correct mods or mod pack um my discord of course in the description um the discord i believe for frost hex is abg i don't know if that's actually on here is that does that work there you are there's the oh, yeah, there. there you are i messed up a bit yeah we'll see boat gang or of course boat labs the people who design um the uh the scoreboards and the uh, i think open boat utils maybe design there as well I'm going to try and overtake this, that guy. Uh-oh, he's here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, uh, I'll ask. Uh, I'll answer any other questions you guys have before we wrap up here. Um, but for now, the, the official stream is basically over. So tell me going to be in FC1. Yes, he normally is. I believe he was late today So uh, to the oh? FC1 race. So tell me. Oh. Actually, so wait. No, usually, no. Excuse no, me. doesn't usually race. I'm sorry. Yes, he got moved to a uh, team owner position. So he owns, uh, what does he own? Armor Crafting. Uh, Armor Craft Inn. Uh, is his team? Yeah, he's, and, uh, uh, he's a team owner who's not, um, who's not decided not to race in FC1. Yeah. Uh, Mac, do you ask, is there a way to get to the FC2? Um, yes, it means there is, it, all you have to do is show up on race day. That's the only thing you have to do. We assume everyone uh, on the server at that time is racing in the races. And uh, you'll be easily added. All you need is a Minecraft Java account. And of course, on the Boat Utils tracks, uh, you will need the Open Boat Utils mod. And I'm uh, going to completely lap here. <laughs> Juice says, please, no Boat Utils. We'll, we're doing whatever um, FC1 does. We're not going to switch tracks. So whatever FC1 does is what we're doing. The same exact track, no matter what. We are not in control, Juice. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Corrado asks, is FC3 ever going to be a thing? Uh, I doubt it. Maybe another year or two until we see maybe something like that. But uh, SC2 is... I mean, this has been the biggest race and it has 30 or so people. We Last year, we averaged around 16, 17. 
and it's jumped up already. So, oh, there is that. starting a race on that apple seed. <laughs> um, yeah, says FC seven. Oh, give that one a few decades. Uh... How about that? FC seven will be in a few decades. I think F one. Uh, F or F F one F seven is probably gonna happen before F C one or F C seven happens. Um, yeah, how many people are racing this F C two? Uh, did we get the finishing order? There you are. So officially, I think we had we had twenty five people complete at least one lap, and uh, twenty four of them finished. Um, of course, yeah. looks like about forty one of them has signed up at some point. Um, but I don't think uh everyone has showed up. You were saying, oh, we're raising up the numbers. New peers joining FC20. <laughs> 24. Yeah, 24 drivers have completed the race. So yeah, real quick. Uh, if you missed it, here is your final order. Tell me on top. I spot second. El Saco in third. And the rest follow through. Find your name if you're in the name. Uh, if you race today. Um, and yeah, if you... When is FC20 going to exist? Uh... Long before I or long after I die, probably. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> uh, to be honest, how are you gonna rank all of those drivers though, if if it gets that popular? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I mean, BRWC has uh, has just added its fourth league, and uh, they only drive with about about 10, 15 people per league. Uh, we're all, we're hoping for around twenty twenty five per uh for league so or <laughs> it's gonna be a, a ways out but yeah look how beautiful this track is it's such a nice looking track but yeah uh i think we're gonna end it there any more questions before we end it um i know a lot of you guys are new so please if you uh if you want to see more of this please consider uh consider following along subscribing if you want um it means a lot to me we're trying to hit we're on the final stretch here on my channel here 900 or so is uh, is the number we're at and uh, 1000 is the big number we're trying to reach so please i uh it would be great if uh if you guys added to that um and whatnot is the life network the goat of fc2 um i think i'm gonna place that name on surge the psalm actually uh he's been around for quite a while pretty unnoticed in the um the competitive field at the top but uh, he's been around never for so many up. races and he's never given up either so i appreciate surge actually the most but the the goat of fc2 i would say Chromecat probably um as well uh Chromecat, of course started in fc2 um was in fc2 bahrain i believe in jetta sadly, sadly last he's year never he's yeah. never won an fc2 race he's ne yeah. he's never yeah he never won an fc2 race and he comes on to fc1 for his first race and guess what he wins like, it all wow for fc1 it's such a big uh uh big improvement hot spot is in check he says tell oink his pace was crazy in this race oh, there all right <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh okay <laughs> Why is this a meme? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you missed it. it was on stream about Lurk, three days ago. <laughs> Lurk, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the scoreboard going to be at? Um, are you talking about the maybe the final rankings? FC2 doesn't really have um, points ranking. FC1 does. Um, FC2 doesn't. We don't want to make it super competitive here in FC2. Um, we we like uh, drivers showing up on a race by race basis and stuff. Uh, Corrado asks, do you have a do you guys have a Discord? Yes, I have one. Uh, I believe that one is linked in the dis in description. Oh shoot, it isn't. Oh my gosh, hold on. I'll link you both of them Come right on, now. Man. Give me one second. I swear I did it. I swear I did it. Um, <laughs> let me pull you up. Uh, I got it on my phone here. So we'll copy this one. Will be my personal one. That you guys can join if you want to see more of my own content, which isn't just FC2. Um, it streams and stuff as well. And the FC Booking is where everything is held. So let me pull that up for you. Where is the link for this one? Actually, I have no idea. Hold on. Give me one second. Here we are. Yeah, I'm doing it on my phone, so you can't actually see it, guys. <laughs> We can we can watch Mark run around in spectator mode. All right, and here is the Appleseed Boat King. This is where the hub of of uh, ice boat racing is. It's the home of uh, ice boat racing. 
basically. It's where it started. The community started in uh, ABG there, and uh, it's still going. Uh, which track is it? Suzuka is next, uh, if you missed it. This is Suzuka right here. There's slash, slash TT Suzuka 23, I think. Yes, this is the current version we're using, this one right here. Um, of just course, sure you... it will be updated to 2024 in due time, hopefully within the week. Just make sure you have um, boat details installed. Otherwise, you, you won't be able to do the track. Yeah. There you go. Well, any more questions before we end it there? Um, you guys are, of course, welcome to, to, to go home if you're done with the Q&A. Um, so I practice the boat details version. I would, yes, I would practice the boat details version. Uh, that's probably what we're going to be using next uh, race. Flash says, is there a calendar? Because I need to check the time because I'm not because uh, I'm over in Europe. Um, yeah, just check the F1 calendar, their actual real F1 calendar. That will find you the days. We always race on Sunday. And um, right now, actually, it's going to change because of the time zones. So you might get a little funky. Um, is it... Uh, Gosh, we're both American here, me and Mark. So I don't know. Is it 6 p.m. or so for, um, for what? For the uh, Europeans there, I'm not entirely sure what time it is for Europeans. But we start normally. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure either at, because uh, we've gone through uh, daylight savings. One or two uh, o'clock EST. Um, it's currently at two o'clock because of the time change. The Americans have already um sprung forward in the daylight savings. The Europeans haven't yet, so it's currently at a weird spot right now. Um, but I think that will be changed. It will probably go back to one before Suzuka. I, I'm not entirely sure. So it's one of these two times, which is around six o'clock EST uh, for um, for a lot of the Europeans on Sunday uh, in two weeks' time. Nothing. Why is there? Okay, <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, but uh, yeah. So there you go. That's the best. And of course, it's all the um, every single actually the an easier way to figure it out. The events tab on the ABG Discord will show you exactly where, uh, what time, what day these races are for FC One. They will tell you as well. Um, if you just press a, uh, events, or I think it's yeah events in the um, in the Discord, it will tell you. Scroll to FC One or FC Two. Uh, that's um, sorry. Yeah, one or, uh, one or two for FC One. We start right after. Uh, Kuroto asks, what's your favorite color? You imagine what it is. I don't think I have to set, I have to tell anyone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> read the channel That's name right. before you ask that one. I'll tell you that. It's purple, guys. Oh! <laughs> my, my first team, actually, was a purple team. So I do have a special... Uh, special place in my heart for the purple. Uh, of course, the old JC Racing. Uh, Jude says 7 p.m. for FC... Uh, and FC2 is two hours about after that. So 9 p.m. from um, for a, a few of the Europeans. Thank you, Juge. Um, Juge is going to get chat moderator. <laughs> we'll see. Um, <laughs> currently not right now. Uh, maybe after stream. The ET is 7 p.m., I think. All right. What is your favorite F1 Grand Prix? Um, Let's see. I actually... The like in the past while, I think I liked the. Uh, I I really did like Australia last year, despite how crazy it was and how stupid some of the things were. I think it made good action. And I enjoyed it. Like how how crazy would it be like that? Uh, you don't really know what position going to be until the very very end. Um, as for racetrack, I am a big fan of uh, Red Bull Ring. I don't know. I'm always really good at it in FC One, and so it kind of kind of gives me the same idea for it. <laughs> For F1. I really like Red Bull Ring. Um, Crota asks, do you have a favorite driver and team? I am a Williams boy. Um, of course, I raced for uh, Squilliams, which is the parody team, um, two years ago. And of course, this year as well. I'm still with Squilliams. And uh, um, when I got into F1, I kind of had to follow um, not only my, uh, you know, my parody team, but also my color, which is, of course, the light blue. And uh, I'm kind of stuck with them. Uh, and and I'm and I'm an American, so I, you know I kind of have to root for for my boy Logan here, of course. Um, and Albon is is great as well. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Life Network says, "Bro, really? I can't believe you're a Williams fan." Like, yeah, I'm not a bandwagon Red Bull <laughs> Red Bull guy. All right. 
Williams is the best midfielder. That's all I'm saying. Look, they, they got progress. Oh, gosh. We got some Ferrari fans in here as well. Uh, <laughs> at least like the Ferraris. Um, I prefer... I want to say I, I enjoy the uh, uh, the McLarens over the Ferraris. Uh, I don't know. Piastri has, has really done great as his rookie season last year. And I'm like, yeah. I, I kind of like it. <laughs> Underdog. He scored a lot of points, actually, yeah. He did pretty good. He got fourth yesterday. Or today, depending on what time zone you're in. He could have started today. I think European, they started early. Early this morning at like 4 a.m. Drew says my favorite drivers are Lando, Charles, and Albon. Yeah, Albon, Logan, and probably Piastri would be a third. Nah, fourth is, fourth is Ollie Behrman. We had one race, and I, I became an Ollie Behrman fan last week. <laughs> he did very well in Jeddah. Yeah, proud of him. He did good. Oh, well, we're not really looking at anything, but um, what are they doing here? What are they doing for these quick races? How how Vecchio Raceway? I've never heard of that. I don't know. Uh, the Vita. I don't know, some other race track. Is this a real track? I don't think so. I am. I'm not sure. <laughs> it looks cool. Well, this is the type of tracks you get on Frost Hex, guys. Uh, if you want, <laughs> these are the type of stuff you get. Um, let's watch this. This is just quick races. And another thing about Frost Hex, it's really cool that uh, you can host and run your own races with anyone else on the server, and uh, you can get races going with. I mean, heck, I mean, there's certainly currently seven on on this, like in this random race right here. But uh, you can get races up to twelve, and I've seen up to you know eighteen or so at times. Especially if you get on during a streamer event, uh, you'll certainly race against a lot of people, and um, that's an easy thing to do. All you have to do is vote for a race, and then you join it, and then it automatically starts it for you and runs it. It's so easy, and we love the timing system for that. And actually, a lot of these guys seem to be uh, from SE2. Uh, Mech do Hard Frog, Life Network, Gray Wasp, and Adam <laughs> all raced in FC. Oh, Adam didn't, but are all <laughs> FCT drivers. Sadly, BRWC doesn't have much quick races. They do. They have the same system actually, but um, I think I don't think they have the vote races. I think you have to have a uh, Adam in create them. I'm pretty sure. But of course, if you're on during a stream event like mine, I usually do some on the weekends. And. Uh, yeah, you'll be able to join those and we'll post races. Yeah, this is the boat racing community. And I, I feel to all of you guys who are new to the boat racing community, it's such a special place. And uh, compared to the other, um, you know, side games, I don't want to say mini games, but uh, side games of Minecraft, you know, that aren't necessarily mining or crafting like PvP, parkour, boat racing is so special. It's so new, it's so special. And uh, we really appreciate um, all the new folks. And uh, we love to see more and more people around. Because with the more people there are, the more racing there is. And the more racing there is, is the more people you get. And it just goes on and on. So, uh, Juju says, the next week back to normal, like no daily streams. Yeah, unfortunately it is. Um, my spring break is over, so we won't be doing dailies on my end. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately. I know, I wish I could keep doing it. Um, especially with the amount of support we had today. I just want to keep going. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going to be the case. Uh, it'll be more sporadic. Um, but uh, always try and get it on the weekends. I'll always try and get you guys on the weekends. Um, I'm doing 360s in first year. Uh, Flash is first person or third person. Definitely third person unless you are Sejuya or Zaddy. Uh, um, everyone <laughs> races in third person. person. Zaddy goes to the first person, and he used to use shaders as well. I don't know if he still does. I think he does. I mean, he doesn't race too much anymore, but he used shaders, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, everyone races in third person just about. Oh, look at that. You guys hear that? That is a subscriber. Bag. Mark Mahai just subscribed. Hey. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Mark. Uh, different Mark, I imagine. Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, different Mark. Yeah. I subscribed to you a, a while ago. <laughs> okay, good, good. <laughs> um, drop out of school just for FC2. Just trust. Oh, gosh. 
Adam went for an overtake in the pit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, G says, when channel membership coming? When I hit um, when I hit three thousand uh, watch hours, I believe is the is the thing. I'm the currently minimum. at is that is it three thousand or is it four thousand? Yeah, it's three thousand. I'm not currently at two thousand and eighty one right now. So more watch hours mean closer to that membership. But uh, thank you, George, for asking that. Evolver says he has Gustav's meme right. of the year 2023 award on Earth. Um, but yeah, about racing gala every uh, December that we that we do. Come to Grand Blue Leader is 64 videos on repeat. I don't know if it counts. Chris, I don't know if it counts that uh, while I sleep. If it counts repeats, it must. I don't know. Just loop the video. Just loop the video. <laughs> so uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna see like one random video of mine from like you know 2022 or something. That it's like oh the watch you know it's the views absolutely just blow up like like what happened here and then the watch hours like you know the average person watched about you know 200 percent of this video and it's just it, it's just juge it's just him watching it over and over and over again if it weren't for hair it'd probably be like 30. <laughs> it would be funny though it at least counts views i don't know yeah i don't know if it counts views if you rewatch on the same account maybe it does i have no idea But the best thing you could do is reach out and tell other people. Because um, the more people you tell, the more people they tell. And uh, it's just the snowball effect. So eventually we'll get there. Eventually we'll get to that 1,000. Eventually we'll get to that 3,000 uh, 3, watch hours. Um, obviously that's not going to be today. Uh, <laughs> go figure. Um, but uh, in time, especially with the new video out that I uh, published this morning. Uh, if you haven't watched it. That's, a, that's that a pretty fire one. Thank you. Got, you. you should go Thank watch you. it. Uh, people are already calling it the boat racing video of the year. All I'm saying, it's only March, but uh, they're making bold position, uh, bold predictions, and uh, so it's worth something to watch. So we'll think of uh, you know, think of that, and um, maybe you'll see it later down. Maybe you'll see it in your recommended when you uh, when you haven't watched it, but you'll see it in your recommended about you know a few months time. You're like, oh, I should have watched that when it came out. Kid. <laughs> okay i think i'm gonna hop off now all right well thank I you have, mark yeah. uh what a great commentator have, you are i have stuff to do all right all right i'll catch you around man thank you so much and uh have a nice day good racing as well in fc1 all right well there he goes uh, love the rule one moment. Oh yeah, how oh, he just left, dang it. Well, you could have asked him yourself, but uh, yeah, the rule one with Mark was quite funny. Um, he was quite. Uh, I don't know. Mark was quite funny during the entire uh, the entire video. I I I swear I, I said this um last night, but you know I, when I'm editing this, I watch this like three, four, or five times, you know, over and over and over again, and. Uh, Every single time Mark does something stupid, I always laugh. You know, uh, starts maniacally laughing when he sucks, or just all these random things. Is it every single time I laugh at it? So he's quite a character, and hopefully, um, he he brings so much energy to any sort of stream, as you can tell here. Um, but uh, yeah. Ooh, can you send me the process, uh, the process vids, and I can rate them in the future? That, uh, oh, in process vids. Oh, you're saying like what I'm working on them? Uh, if you want, um, maybe I don't, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I like early. Uh, Karana says, "Why aren't you responding to me?" Because I don't really care about. Uh, <laughs> You spamming that says Life Network who watches Skibbity Toilet. I, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. This is a nice track. I don't even know who built it. It's Is it new? What is, what is this track called? We were just ro roaming around it the entire time. Is it Hella Vita? Is that what it's called? Is it this one? Yeah. Who built it? Uh, Reliant, I guess. He wanted me to tell you. Okay. Well, he. The message was received. 
Oh, yeah, that's the end of that race. Uh, all right, well, should we end it there? I feel like I'm going over time here because uh, obviously you guys were here to watch SE2, and uh, uh, obviously we're just kind of rolling around doing nothing now. So if you if you want to go, just go. <laughs> uh, I'll keep talking though. I'll keep talking. Um, any are our teams managed by real players or not? Uh, you talking about the F um the FC one teams? Yeah. Um, every single team has a real driver or team owner. Um, with them, so like Armor Crafting has Satomni in it. Um, Squilliams is headed by Lapis. Um, here we go to pit lane. Uh. We'll go back to 2024 and head straight to the pit lane. Um, I believe Alpig is run by is Oink. I forget who who runs it. I think Oink does. Mark. Um, Squilliams is, is headed by Lapis. That's my team, by the way. Look, there's my face. Anyway, um, Mark saying in chat, "What does pit mean? Because there's no tires. It's just strategy." <laughs> uh. Let's see, this is uh, McClurkin that's run by Techno Gustav and Renokos, although Renokos is out right now. Um, Kick Subaru, or uh, no, not Subaru, Salvaru. I don't know who runs this one. Is it Crafties? I think it's Crafties. Uh, Steak and Carbs. And... Yeah, all these teams for the FC1 are uh, headed by real drivers, and uh, they, of course, make strategy in case they, uh, you know. Uh, for rosters and stuff, making sure everyone on that team shows up. There's a lot of complications today in the FC1 race with a lot of drivers, um, you know, coming in late or or something like that. And uh, so the F uh, the team owners are responsible for keeping drivers on their teams and racing for them and knowing when they're going to show up. Now, Carlos, when is the next FC1? It is going to be in two weeks at Suzuka um, in Japan. So a little bit changed from last year where Suzuka was one of the last races. Uh, now we'll be on race four. Back to you says, is there, a race, is there a chance to own a team without being best of the best? Yes. Um, so Tumney is, uh, is one of those drivers. Uh, however, the FC1 team owners are restricted to the race control picks who wants to be team drivers. Uh, so it's kind of closed invite. But there's nothing... Stopping you from creating a sort of small team community in FC2 if you want to. Um, there aren't really any, but if you want a, a group of three, four drivers, whoever, who, you know, who show up every week are in the same call together and help each other out, there's nothing stopping you. I don't see anything wrong with that either. Um, no one really does it because most drivers in FC2 drive individually, but if you want to see it, you can. Um... You just can you do boat labs next week and Roblox? Uh, we'll see next week. How about that? There will be an empty Sunday, and I don't think any racing's happening, as far as I'm aware. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, we'll see what happens come that week. How about that? Um, maybe come Friday. Well, I'll let you know what's going on. Uh, Kratos, can I buy a team? No, teams are invite only. You cannot purchase them with any sort of uh, monetary value. Because uh, most, I mean, it's a, the FC1 team owners is a, is a responsibility more than anything else. Um, it's not it's not a privilege, I would say. Really, it, it's a little bit of a privilege, but it's it's a big responsibility to, to own a team, and you have to have race controls trust in order to uh, to do it. Because we've had um, in years prior where, where um, team owners would run own teams and then not ever do anything with them. They wouldn't sign their drivers. They wouldn't do this. They wouldn't do that. And so. Uh, that's actually how No Name came about, if you didn't know, the No Name team. Um, you can read up on that story some other time. Uh, what's the next FC2 map again? Suzuka. Suzuka. There you go. Uh, there you go. This is the full TT. Uh, is Premier Ice open to everyone? Yes. Premier Ice is a um, is a racing league hosted on Boat Labs that um, has a, different, a little bit of a different form of qualifying where... Um, you qualify in different races based on what um, uh, you know your quality time is compared to this, where only the top you know it's restricted. Like FC one is restricted to only the fastest drivers can even qualify, and then we have another qualifying session for FC two. Premier Ice has it where there's one qualifying session where everyone, like the fastest of the fastest people, are racing with the new guys in qualifying, and then um, 
And then after qualifying, you get split up into the race compared to your time. So like the top 15 qualifying times will move into race A and so on. What is the pink team? That's called Al Pig. Um, a pun on Alpine, if you couldn't tell. Um, it has two pigs on their team. Um, Hutspot and, uh, and Oint are both, uh, both pigs and they, they race in um, Al Pig. Along with Rocket Race, who is the current world champion. So yeah, the pink team, the blue team, the orange team, another blue team. I don't really know what um, Thick and Carbs colors are. It says green here, it looks like, but I don't know. Um, Armor crafting is kind of all over. I think they're they're saying teal and yellow, looks like. And of course, uh, Racing Kama is purple. <sighs> who has won the most FC1 World Championships? That belongs uh, to Laser Sloth, who is the now... Uh, who has retired to race control only. He has won two, I believe. Uh, 2021 and 2022, he won. The first two seasons of FC1, he won. And then uh, and then Rocket Race took him in 2023. Now we're on to 2024, and we'll see what happens there. Rocket has a good shot of um, tying that record this year. Um, certainly nothing slowing him down right now. I believe he, he probably is leading the standings right now. I have to double check. Considering the results of today's race. Is there an FC2 world champion? No, because we don't do um we don't do season wide points. Uh, we do everything on a race by race basis. If you want to see like, I was like, oh, who is the fastest in FC2? Usually the fastest in FC2 usually get pushed up to FC1. So that's kind of where uh where points are kind of thrown out the window because the fastest guy gets moved up to FC1 and he can't race in FC2 anymore. So his points just go away, and then it's kind of whoever is the fastest who doesn't get signed is ends up who. Who wins? Who would win? So we don't really do points. But uh, there's a spreadsheet of all the results um, that is pinned in the FC chat. It's called Formula Craft 2024. And you can see all the results. And you can see the one from 2023 as well in the aptly named uh, FC1 2023. So, yeah, there's lots of data. And uh, if you ever want to talk, you know, averages, race paces, all of that stuff. Lapis Lettuce is like the guy. He knows every stat about almost everybody, I feel. Um, he goes everything down to a wire. It's crazy to me what he can do. He finds out, like, there's one guy um, who started, like, winning really competitive races in his, like, fourth race ever. And so he managed to figure out not only that he was an alt account of one of the faster drivers, but he was also um, which one that was. And uh, he was managed to debunk that. So that's the amount of statistical analysis he can do. And uh, if you ever want to talk data, he probably um, he could probably tell you everything about it and uh, why not. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, we're at two hours, so I think I'm going to have to end it here um, a little bit longer for an FC2 race. Or FC2 stream. And, oh, gosh. Um, we don't run this, but I will. Thank you, guys. Really, thank you for, as, uh, to those who, who did stick around. Thank you, guys, for hanging out. Really enjoyed this race. Um, certainly one to remember, for sure. And I'm sure a lot of people will remember this as their first, because there's quite a few new guys. Thank you all so much. I will catch you next week on Saturday and Sunday for... Um, for either you know personal races or uh, of course FC two uh, in two weeks, um, so please if you want to keep up with that, um, join my Discord. I'll give you updates on when I'm streaming or publishing videos or whatnot. <laughs> Juge, good good night or good morning from you. It's actually two uh, two thirty for me, so it's actually in the afternoon now. Uh, Hard Frog says bye bye. All right, thank you guys. I will catch you in about a week's time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.